Hello, OpenMRS community. My name is Rainbow. I am a technical writer living in Toronto, Canada. I am a prop member of the OpenMRS documentation team. My project, Improving Documentation for New OpenMRS Developers, was selected by Google Season of Docs this year. So in this presentation, I am uh, going to first present the goals of this project. Then I will move on to talk about the approaches I took to achieve these goals. Then I will present an example of the updated documents. And last, I will talk about the future directions of this project. So the goals of this project is to improve the existing documentation for new developers. So the documents are easier to find, easier to read with updated content. Uh, I'm hoping that at the end of this project uh, that I can uh, produce a set of documents that will help new developers to get started and contribute code quickly. This project is focused on four main areas. The first is to help the new developers join the OpenMRS community so that they know how to communicate within the community and how to find help and how to select um, project that they would like to work on. Second is to help them set up their development environment quickly. And third is to help new developers create their first Hello World module. And last is to provide the new developers with some learning resources. Uh, the segment uh, in the wiki page that is devoted to new developer documentation has been updated um, so that um, uh, this segment can be aligned with the goal and focus of the project. The documents that are outdated the documents that are not aligned with the goal are removed from this section. Uh, this section is now moved right underneath developer guide so that the new developers will find this, doc, uh, this section easily in the wiki page. To improve readability, um, these are the approaches I took. I try to use plain language, avoid long sentences and complex uh, grammar. I try to avoid long paragraphs. I um, use numbered lists for instructions. And when the document is long, I try to divide, um, divide the document into sections or even divide one document into multiple documents. Um, here is an example of the updated document. So this document came from an older version of um, a document called Getting Started as a Developer. That document contains um, very uh, useful and thorough information for new developers. However, the format is kind of hard to follow. It has 17 steps. What I end up doing is uh, that I took that old document and divided it into two documents. Uh, now it became two documents, get started as a developer and contribute as a developer. I divide the content within one document into sections. And within one section, I try to limit the number of steps to less than 10 so that the reader will have an easier time to follow the instructions without getting lost. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the future directions for this project. Based on community input, um, this project uh, would like to develop documentation for uh, providing some code examples and for getting started with micro front end and getting started with QA. 
these are all very technical uh, topics. The documentation team would like to invite the community to join forces with us to help us complete these goals. You can also help us by providing feedback, um, by pointing out mistakes, by um, telling us what you need as a developer in the documentation. You can either contact me or uh, Herbert uh, on OpenMRS Talk. We are always welcome. We are always welcoming any um, input. Last uh, but not the least, I would like to take this opportunity to thank community members who took their time to participate in the um, improving documentation for new developers survey. That survey helped uh, me tremendously at the beginning of this project. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, community members who provided valuable guidance and input for this project. Last, I would like to thank Google Season of Docs for selecting this project and for giving me this opportunity to work with such a wonderful community that is OpenMRS. Thank you all for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.